Come on, Jeff. Come on, get organized. We got work to do. Here comes Jim and the construction gang. The railroad men. Too many for us, they got They're right. We go. You know, honey, when is possible? Tell Miss Harper the boys got here just in time. Right. So you're determined to go through with building that railroad? I certainly am, Carter. I have a little information that might cause you to change your mind, Mr. Hartford. I'm not interested. You will be. Your daughter was captured by some of War Eagle's Indians this morning. My daughter captured? I don't believe it. You better believe it. How do you know this? Because I rescued her myself and took her to my hacienda. Well, why didn't you bring her here? I don't want to hold her a while. You hold her? Why? Well, when I saved her, I had to kill a couple of War Eagle's Indians. One escaped. Naturally, he'll tell War Eagle what happened and he'll demand your daughter or make a lot of trouble for me. You mean I'll have to turn her over to War Eagle? Oh, you can't do this, Carter. You're not a savage. You've got to return her to me. And have War Eagle make war on me? No, no, Mr. Hartford. The only way you can save your daughter is to write an agreement that you won't build your railroad through Hellgate Pass and Sunset Mesa. What has this agreement got to do with War Eagle? Well, part of Sunset Mesa is thick with antelope and buffalo. War Eagle's hunting ground. Your railroad will destroy it. I'm sure War Eagle will accept your written word as uh, sort of a treaty. All right. I'll write out the agreement, and as soon as Jeff and Tex return, we'll bring it right over. You'll bring it over before they return. I want that paper in my hands in exactly two hours from now, and don't let Ramsey change your plans. That paper's the only thing can save your daughter. Giving that girl? What for? I'll have them both when he brings that agreement. Where do you think you're going? Well, I started to follow Jim and the men, but my horse stumbled and threw me. Oh, Jeff, I haven't thanked you for getting me away from King Carter. If you'd stay in camp where you belong, I wouldn't have to get you away. Well, if I had stayed in camp, you wouldn't have known of the attack on the work train. Uh, could you identify the man that brought the word to Carter? I could if I wanted to. Well, maybe you'll get a chance to do just that when you get back to camp. Jeff, but Jeff got me away. There's the man who brought Carter the word about the work train. Jeff will take care of him. Now, tell me, child, what happened?
You know drinking's not allowed on this job. Oh, <laughs> we was uh, getting ready in case we run across a snake. <laughs> we don't allow snakes or men who work for King Carter in camp. Hey, that's a lie. I don't work for Carter. I, I just went over there to... Stop a good fight, Gorgo, because you never know when you'll see another. your time and get out. You'll hear from Tim and me. Well, if we don't, we won't worry none. Come on, get out. Jack. Did you get the men in all right? Yeah. While you were down there fighting Indians, some of Carter's crooks stole our powder and ammunition wagon. Oh, that's bad. We can't afford to lose any supplies. Well, looks like another job for you and me, Tex. We gotta get that wagon back. We did plenty of damage, and we do more if railroad men don't come and drive us off. They should have taken more Indians. I do, but somebody know our plans and send help. Tim's in the saloon. He's been badly beaten by Jeff Ramsey and fired off the railroad job. That's how Ramsey know our plans. Tim talked. He also reports that Miss Hartford has returned safely to the camp. What? Yes, he saw her as he was leaving. I had hoped to stop construction on the railroad by holding her and her father. There's been some bungling here somewhere. Perhaps you've underestimated Jeff Ramsey's ability. Raven, it becomes more evident every day that Ramsey and I must settle our little dispute with gun talk. Maddox is also waiting to see you. Bring him in. Chief, I just got away with the railroad gang's powder and ammunition wagon. Where is it? It ought to be worth a lot to you to know where it is. Oh, it's that way, is it? Well, it is worth a lot to me. Now, you drive it to my house, and then I'll see that you're paid in full. Yeah. But I'd like something kind of on account. Oh, yes, to be sure. The other half when you deliver the wagon. Take Blade, trail Maddox to the ammunition wagon and take it away from him. Use Indians if you have to. And you give rest of money to whoever bring other half? You get my idea. Huh. Raven, we've got to use stronger methods to stop this railroad once and for all. Signal mean anything to you? Oh, 
nothing special, except maybe somebody's found something. Yeah, maybe the powder wagon. It's coming from right near where we're heading. Well, that's likely. Keep your eyes open. We'll always do. Oh, boy, stop. Stand up, stop. Oh. <laughs> 